Good afternoon and welcome to my shop and uh, this is Bruce. We're the continuing on with the green mantle um, clock and uh, I've drilled and tapped, I've drilled and, and run the tap through um, this side where we're going to be making two of those items. Um, Just a reminder, um, so we've got this laid out here. Uh, I've already machined it down to thickness and now what I'm doing is putting these inserts in. That's the next stage. Once I've done all those inserts, then I'm going to do the counter bores. <coughs> excuse me. And then after that, um, we'll, be doing, we'll be doing the cutouts. But of course we've got one lot this way and then another lot on that side. We've got four to do, so I'm doing, just doing the screws first. And then we'll go over and we'll do the screws on that side. Um, then we'll do the two counter bores, or the four counter bores basically. And then we'll cut out the holes and do the, um, uh, do the machining to the right uh, diameter. And after that we'll do all the trimming and cutting and everything else. So we're going ahead with doing the threading. <coughs> now what I've done, I have this um, little tap holder arrangement and very very handy and um, what I've done is I've, I've clamped it with the mag base to a um, uh, to a parallel and I'm just using that to give me uh, a good direct 90 degree um, on the spot thread direction there we go um, this is much quicker and easier than bringing the bringing the mill in each time uh, to um, to do it. We've already got them accurately placed by the DRO and those XY coordinates that I've made. So we're just going to blow that out. And what we're doing is we're using, we're using these little inserts, we're threading them down on a, on a little bolt. These are M4 inside and M6 standard on the outside. So uh, we'll just introduce those into the thread here that we've made in the plastic. And tighten them up a fraction, and then back off the nut, and screw it out inserts in place and we'll keep repeating that now till we've done all those inserts all the rest have been tapped there we go I just want them just underneath the surface is all we need. These have a lead on one side and, and pretty flush finish on the other. And they should do the trick enough to hold these cheek plates in place when, um, when, the, machine, when the printer is working. No, two to go.
these are anodized steel um, inserts. The originals from Germany had, uh, I believe, might have been a brass insert, but then again, it, it could have been these gold ins, uh, gold um, anodized. I didn't uh, inspect it to the nth degree because um, I only had those for two days, and they had to go back to the printing press. Uh, the um, so it was enough time to do the pickup, and um, and that was it. There you go. Uh -oh. I'll have to get the magnet and get that one up. So there we have it. We've got those um, we've got those ten inserts done. That's uh, five for each one of those patterns. And I'll now go and set up get ready to do the other side, uh, line it up and do some drilling and I'll be back.